Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel now. We're in chapter 23. We're going to read verses 1 to 5 and see what's going on here. David is uh, kind of an outcast now. He's got a band of guys and they're they're uh, hanging out and trying to survive. Let's see what we come up with next. Then they told David, saying, Look, the Philistines are fighting against Keilah, and they are robbing the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and attack these Philistines? And the Lord said to David, Go and attack the Philistines and save Keilah. But David's men said to him, Look, we are afraid here in Judah. How much more than if we go to Keilah against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord once again, and the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver the Philistines into your hand. And David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines, struck them with a mighty blow, and took away their livestock. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. So here's something I like about David. David isn't sure what to do. He inquires of the Lord. There we go. That's what we need. Sometimes we have an experience in our life, and maybe something happening in our church or in our community, and we're not quite sure what to do. We could do this, this, or this, and we're not quite sure what's the way to go. David's got the right line, and we need to adopt David's line, and that is to inquire of the Lord. Let's find out the best we can. We can pray to God, and his arm isn't shortened that he can't hear our prayer and he can't answer our prayer. There's other ways he can communicate with us. We put out a fleece or something. Uh, there's different things like that. Uh, but here, the, the key point is we need to seek God. And many times, by seeking Him, by taking time, by bringing the information and praying about it, thinking about it, let a few days go by, uh, process this stuff. I know we're in an age where, like, there's no time to process anything. You've just got to press the button. I know that's kind of where we are. But we as Christians <laughs> aren't there. What we need to do is be faithful. We need to trust God. We need to slow down. Take a deep breath, pause, uh, pray about this, talk to God about it, see what develops. He may give an immediate sense, an answer, or maybe he'll speak to us through a brother, through a sister, or in some other way providentially. So let God be God, but if we want to pray to him and get an instant answer, uh, that could be a problem. So we, we, we're, we may be impatient, but let's let God be God. And so we need to inquire. And David takes time. And when he, the word comes back, go and attack, then the word comes again uh, that the people are nervous. And so David inquires again. So there's, there's occasion here for double inquiry on this case. So they go down and they save the people in Keilah. Good. Fantastic. And so this is a good thing. By the way, notice the government didn't do this. King Saul, mighty King Saul, Mr. Righteous King Saul, he didn't do this. But David and his band, who've been basically thrown out, they go and they save the city. Interesting. God works through sometimes direct channels and sometimes through a channel you didn't expect. Maybe that's what he did here for Keilah. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you have agencies, like for example here, David and his band of warriors and helpers, and you use them to save Keilah. So, Lord, we thank you that you have many agencies, many ways of communicating with us. We thank you that you want us to inquire of you, and you do give answers. So we just pray that in our different needs as we inquire of you, that you also will give us answers, that we may serve you and you may be glorified. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, friend, you know what? God is so good, and he's so ready to help us know what he would have you do next. God be with you today in all that you do.